Introduction Ajit is waiting with his grandfather at the bus stop for his school bus. He is busy observing the people rushing for their offices. All of them have their scooters and cars. Most of them are alone in their cars. Ajit is aware that vehicles cause air pollution. He wonders why people cannot walk or cycle to nearby areas. It will not only reduce air pollution, but also improve their health. In this lesson, you will learn about air and its pollution. Characteristics of Air We are surrounded by air. Air is a mixture of gases and other particles. It is essential for the survival of living things. All living things breathe in and breathe out air. It has no taste, color or odor. We cannot see it, but we can feel it. Air has weight. Take two inflatable balloons. Blow air into it. Weight. Now weigh the deflated balloon. What do you find? The inflated balloon feels heavier than the deflated one. This proves that air has weight. Air is needed for burning. Let us perform an experiment. Light a candle. Now invert a gas tumbler over it. This action cuts off air supply to the burning candle. A little while later, the candle stops burning. This proves that air is essential for burning. Composition of air Air is made up of several gases, the most important being nitrogen, oxygen and carbon dioxide. Air contains water vapor and dust particles as well. The tiny dust particles can be seen moving in a stream of sunlight entering a room. Causes of Air Pollution Air gets polluted by the smoke released by factories and vehicles. Burning leaves, plastic and garbage also produces smoke and pollutes air. Breathing polluted air causes many respiratory diseases like asthma, bronchitis, etc. Reduction in Air Pollution it is our responsibility to reduce air pollution. We can do so by planting new trees, using public transport, covering short distances on foot or cycle, carpooling, not burning leaves, plastic and other garbage, wind. Moving air is known as wind. Wind moves clouds and causes rains. Wind moves sailboats and gliders. Wind power is used to generate electricity. Wind power is used to pump water. Wind direction. Wind has direction. Wind is known by its direction. For example, winds which blow from east to west are called easterly winds. Similarly, Winds that blow from west to east are known as westerly winds. We can determine the direction of wind with the help of a wind vane. The arrow of the wind vane indicates the direction from which the wind is blowing. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Air has no taste, color or odor. Air has weight and it is essential for burning. Air is made up of many gases, water vapor and dust particles. Air gets polluted by smoke from factories and vehicles. Breathing polluted air causes respiratory diseases. Moving air is known as wind. Wind has direction. Wind direction is determined with the help of a wind vane.